Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. This is Coach Rude with Rude Gaming 33, and this is going to be part 5 of this playthrough. So we had just parted ways with Baku, so now we are going to move forward and deeper into the evil forest. One shot this real quick. Alright, so let's activate the active time event. Let's check it out what's else is going on. And if any of you guys recognize that uh, song, that is a throwback to Final Fantasy VII. If I'm not mistaken, when you're going through a Junon, and you, um, the president of Shinra is around. Hey, <laughs> bastard. Wow, got a rare miss. Get them to level up. And just continue moving forward. It is quite linear until we experience a Moogle. And then things get a little interesting from there. So we got another battle. And, oh, new enemy. Mandatory active time event. Drink some spring water and fully restore yourself. Then we're gonna act. We're gonna use the magnet. We're gonna get Monty the letter from Kubo. I think Queen Brawny is up to something, but I suspect Princess Garnet even more. Kubo, 
She might leave home soon with a prince on a white horse. Maybe it's just my imagination. And then if we do that, we get a letter from uh, Stiltskin. And this is what it reads. I'm at a very cold place right now. It's really strange. It wasn't like this last time I came here. But I guess this is why I travel, to encounter the unexpected. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here before I get trapped in ice. So we're going <clears> to <throat> save here and then we're going to go power level for about 15 minutes and then I'll see you guys on the next end of this video when I get Vivi and Steiner up to level 3 and 4. So I'll see you guys at the end of that.
All right, welcome back, people. So after about five minutes of love of quick grinding, we got Steiner and Vivi up to level four, and Sedane up to level six. Let's use this spring real quick. Talk to the Moogle, Monty, get a quick save. And then continue eastward. Nice little cinematic. Pretty creepy. So we get the probably my favorite boss music in all of the Final Fantasy series. And this is the first real true boss of the game, which means that we can possibly get a game over, which it won't happen, but first chance we actually get a chance to get hit that. So hit that. We want to steal everything that this thing has. Fire swords should deal about 400. Or about 300 still. Alright, we got the eye drops, which is good. And we just steal the last item that it has, which is going to be the iron helm. Heals that aim. <laughs> Freaking course. Alright, good. Blank is here. So we can use him to start stealing, but we're gonna re let's revive Zidane. And this is what I was talking about. This is the first battle in which you can actually get a f damn KO. So we got the Iron Helm perfect. Now we can just start attacking and, and just end this thing quickly. Good AP, always nice. 
Phoenix down to replenish what we just used. Actually, all the run things or the hurry things in any of the games have always been good. It just has a great sense of urgency that you need to do. magic and use it on both of them. Ball sales just attack the rest. Petrified.
Hey, another Moogle. Monty. Alright, so another mandatory active time event with Monster. This is all stuff we don't need to go into, so let's just go into nothing. Yeah, just uh, skip it. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we're going to get our first access to the world map. So we're just going to head south real quick. To right here, just all the way the way. And actually, instead of entering, we're just going to uh, call Moguo, which is going to be the Mog of the area, with the Moguls, Moguls flute. And we will access the save point. So this will conclude part 5 of my Final Fantasy IX playthrough. This is your boy, Coach Rude, with Rude Gaming 33 And I will see you guys next time on part 6. See you guys then.